Keep your head thinking. Keep thinking. Keep painting. Keep painting. Keep thinking. Main thing you gotta use that. Keep Mayweather wants Floyd Mayweather to keep jabbing, keep fainting, keep boxing. Now, see, Richardson wants Shane Mosley to relax, stay behind his speed, and not try to go for a knockout. Just simply try to land punches and box. Harold, how do you have it through to it? I'll get you. Two rounds to one, 29, 28, Sugar Shane Mosley. Jim, in round one, I thought Mosley led the clean effective shots with that left, you know, the left jab to the body. In round two, Mosley won it big. He led the power shots. But in round three, Floyd Mayweather planted his feet. We throw the left jab and then that hard right hand. And I mean hard right hand. He's got a lot of power. Get it off first. Either he gets off with a left hook or he gets off with a straight right. Two to one, Shane Mosley. Mosley has produced some fireworks against Mayweather. Mayweather watchers yeah. will remember that a few years ago here in Las Vegas, Zab Judah got in some shots in the first three rounds before he was effectively subdued by Mayweather's defense in the middle rounds. And then late in the fight, Mayweather was toying with him, landing his right hand over the top of Will. One of the Let's most see what happens to Mosley. One of the most effective punches I thought that Shane would be utilizing a lot more would be his left jab. But he's not jabbing that much. And therefore, actually, Mayweather's out jabbing him for the most part, even though he doesn't jab that much, but Shane should be working his jab a lot more. Is it because Mayweather's been able to counter his jab? I don't know, whatever it is, but he's not, he hasn't been throwing it that much. And just the, the speed of Mayweather in his hand and his physical strength is just still amazing me. And Shane is looking old to me. His body doesn't have that tone, and his punches doesn't have that the, uh, the power. And Floyd is fighting more offensively at this stage of the fight than is usually the case. Particularly, he stepped it up in round three to respond to Mosley's assault with a couple of right hands in round two. I think, Jim, that's because he believes he's the superior boxer and that he can capitalize on Mosley's mistakes or, sl or slowness. And that's why he's staying as close to him as he is. Hard right hand by Mayweather. I don't believe that punch landed, but he is... Uh, whatever, whatever Mosey was expecting, I doubt it was this. For whatever reason, Mosley is no longer throwing much. No, he's actually fighting Mayweather style now. A lot of faint hesitation, jerky moves, and that is what Floyd wanted. Floyd has got him fighting well, right in the mode that he wants. Yeah, you know, when, when fighters are used to being the fastest guy in the ring, and then they come up against a fighter who is as fast or faster, it changes everything. And maybe that's what it's changing in Mosley. Don't worry about that. Keep doing what you're doing. Got to be in boxing skill for that motherfucker. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep that motherfucker on the end of that jab. You can't do shit. You can't do nothing. That third level, I need you to let his hands go in the middle. All right, touch your chin, let those hands go in the middle. Take that angle off for him. All right, we worked on this, Shane. Don't hesitate with it. Put that stick in there, baby. Take the angle. Here you see Shane coming in. He's about in a position where it shouldn't be really. And, and he's getting called a right hand by Floyd, right over his low left shoulder. One of the few clean punches that landed that round. Copy box numbers in the round. Mayweather 12 out of 31, Mosley 9 out of 32. I, that, that surprises me. I don't know that I saw Mosley throw 32 punches in that round, but maybe I wasn't looking carefully enough. Oh, excuse me. That was the average. That was the average through round four. Average Mayweather 12 out of 31, Mosley 9 out of 32, and that Further underlines your point, Emmanuel, that Mosley is fighting Mayweather's fight. Yes, he's fighting. Her volume of punches is down. And Mayweather's a much more accurate pinpoint puncher when you're fighting on this level and at this tempo. In the second round, Mosley got off 47 to 48 punches. That's the pace at which he wants to fight. But when you can't see the target or you're worried about the counter coming back, it's much harder to release your hands. No, 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 no,
no, no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Let him up, let him up. Don't go, you're going forward. Okay, there he goes. Hold that, and you're holding, okay? Here, touch him up, fellas. Touch him up. Kenny Keep Bayless has taken Keep a very active role in the first five rounds of this fight. And the dressing room. No, 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 no. Let him up. Well, as you should, up. it's been a Keep very, basically no, 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 a quiet head fight. Up. Keep the head up. It's a, a good sparring session so far. They are opportunity punches thrown at openings that the opponent creates for him, but sometimes he will step in and lead. And his timing is so good, and he's so quick, and he lands that way. Like that. No, 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 no. You almost wonder if Mosley damaged his own rhythm and fight plan by landing those two big right hands in the second yes. round. Yes, but I, I, I don't think so. I think Florida just thrown him into a fight in his pattern of thinking, thinking man's game. And, uh, work out, work out, and, and work Shane out. just lost his own rhythm. And he came to Florida, looks way much stronger, much more sturdy, and much, much faster than he is. And more comfortable. He's right in his comfort zone where he wants to fight. Which is exactly what Shane should have tried to change and not let happen. Watch the elbow. What can he strong. do about it? I don't think he can do anything, to be honest. I think that uh, Mayweather is physically too strong and young for him. I'm surprised. I thought it would be a much more tighter competitive fight, and maybe Shane would have been the physical fight. Larry's point is quite well taken. When you've been the physically gifted one all your life, it is not easy to look at another man in front of you and say to yourself, oh, I get it. He's faster and he's strong. Make it easy on yourself. Starting to get tired. It ain't no hard fight if you keep boxing this motherfucker like this. Keep boxing. Boxing thinking man's game. Take the hand, double and bang, speed, I need that. I need them rapid shots. I don't need them big, that big, heavy stuff. I need one, two, one, two, take them hand. You know what I'm saying? Same thing we worked on, son, this is what we worked on. Not big, see, you get that big shot off, and you didn't get caught up in the crack and with that big shot. That big shot comes down the road. Copy box totals through round five, totals. Mayweather 66 of 162, 41%. Mosley 46 of 165, 28%. At 165, Mosley is throwing 33 punches per round. That is a Floyd Mayweather pace. you're not that used to seeing. But you know, the, the, the tempo is just where Floyd's favorite punch is at the pullback check, left hook, pulling Mose in and catching him coming in with a pullback hook. Or either his a little lunging left hook where he loads up and screens all the dozer. He very seldom puts combinations together. You don't see Floyd throw no, 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 three, no, four, no, five, no. six shots the way that Sugar Ray Leonard and other fighters did. He'll throw one or two punches because he's always going to be in balance and he want to make sure he's going to be back in a defensive mode if he misses. But well, he's oh, that was a stunning shot from Mayweather right on the button. Again over the left hand, which Shane holds low. Holds low. 
and Shane is not holding his left hand up to block it, nor is he rolling the punch neither. Just as if he's out of position, fan, if he doesn't, and Miss Jurgis is going to get hit with him. And you may see him get hit with more right hands in the fight go on. Because <laughs> Floyd is getting closer and closer. He's trying to get closer so he can land the right hand easier. Another stunning right hand by Mayweather and the big left hook. He's landing shots cleanly inside. But, but, you know, Floyd is landing the punches, but he never pushed more than two shots. Very seldom he's going to do. But Shane is coming in and, and committing himself. Better get with him. For whatever reason, his hands seem to be real loose and real rubbery. His punches are not tight and compact. Very loose. And, and the floors are very much more compact and more powerful. Much more body weight. Shane Mosley spent six or seven weeks in the gym training to fight Andre Berto in a fight that was scheduled for January 30 and went by the wayside after the earthquake in Haiti. Then, of course, he got back into the gym in a hurry to get ready for this fight. Is it possible he's overtrained? It's very possible. You, you, your body have to recuperate. You can't just keep him training all the time. Is, is it possible he could have withstood that better if he weren't 38? That's true. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather Sr. Waiting in the wings, hoping, some say, to train his son again. At the very least, he offers that he's available should his brother Roy Roger Roy Mayweather Roy find Roy himself Roy Roy as the result of a court trial next summer in a position where he might be away for a while. The rope, just don't get on the rope. Here you see Floyd land typical shots the way he landed, short, clean, accurate punches. And the, the closer and closer that he gets to Shane, the more and more he's going to land those punches because his punches are really short as compared to Shane, but Shane has to have a little bit more of an arm into his punches. 